Good afternoon and welcome to our newly titled Beaumont Legal Stadium here in Wakefield. Pre-season friendly sees Trinity take on championship outfit Sheffield Eagles. Trinity's side sees Scott Griggs at fullback. Three-quarter line of Ben Jones, Bishop, Reese Lynn, Joe Arundel and Tom Johnston. At half-back, it's Jacob Miller and Sam Williams. And in the pack, Anthony England, Kyle Wood, Craig Huby, Matty Ashurst, skipper Danny Kerman and at loose forward Jordan Crowther. On the bench, Anthony Walker, Tinny Arona, Chris Anakin, Liam Finn and Ashley Gibson. And welcome back to David Fafita and Max Jowett, both returning after surgery for their first appearances of the pre-season friendly programme. Visitors Sheffield Eagles have Ryan Miller at fullback. It's Gary Lowe, Menzi Yeary, Perry Whiteley and Ben Blackmore. Halfback Simon Brown and Elliot Minicella. And in the pack Scott Wilden, Matty Fozard, Skipper, Matt James, it's Will Hope, Dwayne Straffer and Kyle Trout are loose forward. A former Wakefield player himself. There are six players on the bench for the Eagles. It's Greg Burns, Mark Mexico, Sam Scott, Jordan Cox, James Kelly and Easy Harper. Referee for this afternoon's pre-season friendly is Brendan Robinson. Scott Griggs gets the game underway. Nice swirling kick. Sheffield in their black strip with the white and the red. Williams. Hubie. Ten metres out. Still a couple of tackles to go in this set. Back from whence it came, Williams, the dummy from Williams, that looked high, Williams will dive and Williams will score. This game's opening try, Sam Williams, the Eagles defenders were, were backing away from the half-back. Choice to go left or right, long overhead pass, bounces in front of Wingman low. Ben Jones Bishop, with the shirt took in. Round eight metres out, just opposite that left hand upright. Kyle Woodard acting half back. Crowder with the dummy. Takes the ball to within five metres. Back it comes to Williams. A short pass to Yubi. And a walk in. Forward passes. Referee. Oh my word, never was. Never was. That was a beautiful pass from Sam Williams. Well, they're back in possession. They'll keep it moving from right to left. Miller with two dummies, a shoulder charge. Not sure that was legal, but here comes Ben Jones Bishop. Still going is Ben Jones Bishop. Nice run from the wingman. Quick play, the ball is needed. Reese Lynn, one on one. Reese Lynn does well down the touchline side. Has he got the pace to go beyond fullback Ryan Miller? Still going is Reese Lynn, and that's a superb try. That's a superb try from Reese Lynn. And I've got to say that is against the run of play because the Eagles were putting all sorts of pressure on the Trinity line. But a loose ball, quick hands from left to right. And Reesley taking a, a well earned rest on the all. Liam Finn. Ooh, quick offload to try score a limb. David Fafit is on. Here we go. Something's happened that uh, the referee is not happy with, and neither are some of the players. A bit of shirt took in. It's Williams looking for the runners. Danny Kerman. He's oh, offended. That's illegal. Kerman's not happy. That's going to be a Wakefield penalty. Mark Mexico, the offender. Temporarily, unless it's going on with George. Yeah. Last week from this position across at Featherston, the run round for Fita, Finn, Miller through the gap, still going Miller, he's got the ball down as Milky Miller, and it's Wake for his third try of the afternoon, and with a kick to come that lead is extended, Trinity now lead the Eagles by 14 points to 6, 3 metres out, right underneath the post, Finn, Williams, Williams is going to score his second, Again, a hint of the dummy, and then he brushed away the would be Sheffield Eagles defender. And as we approach the half time hooter, Sam Williams has now scored a brace, and with a kick to come, it's Trinity 20, Eagles 6. Miller, Ashurst, he's in. 
Matty Ashurst with the opening try of the second period. We've played just three minutes. That's a perfect start for coach Chris Chester. A try in the opening three minutes, following that early error from the Sheffield Eagles. And with a kick to come, 26 points to six. Great to put the big name to ground. Quick play the ball, though. That's good. Oh, okay. Referee allows play to go on. Williams. Overhead pass to Ashurst and the further overhead pass to Tom Johnston and it's a walk-in for Wakefield's sixth try of the afternoon. Tom Johnston's not going to score many easier tries than that. Yeah. This is Williams. Chance for Arona. Carries the ball to within 12 metres of the line. Right underneath the post. It's fed to the left. This is Miller, the inside pass. It's Max Jowick with the try for Wakefield. 38 points to six. This is Wood. Miller overhead pass to Tom Johnston. And another walking pass for Tom Johnston. His second half of the afternoon. Credit the try to halfbacks Miller and Wood. 44 points to six. Hubie. One on one tackle. And the forward goes to ground. Here's Liam Finn. This is Jacob Miller and the short pass to Ashurst and then out of the uh, the back door to Tom Johnston and Johnston will score the hat-trick try in the dying seconds of normal time. This is second hat-trick in the pre-season friendlies, Tom Johnston. 48 points to six, wait for the lead. Kick to come, they could hit 50. Kicking towards the Doncaster Road end of the game. We await the final hooter. We're now, according to my watching, to stoppage time. 48 points to six. Can Trinity hit the 50 mark? Finn's conversion attempt says we can. That's a towering conversion from the boot of Liam Finn. So although Wakefield were a little bit flat at periods during that first half, they've hit the high spots in the second. 28 unanswered points. That's a high swirling kick from the restart. Ashley Gibson manages to, in his attempt to take the ball, knock it backwards. For Fita. He'd be happy with the return. I wonder if Chris Chester is for the whole FC game. That's the last piece of the action. Here at the Bowman Legal Stadium. Wakefield led Sheffield Eagles 22 points to six at the break. Ashurst Johnston scored a half second half hat trick and Max Jarrett crossed. There were goals in that second half from Williams who kicked three and Finn that final conversion that meant the final score it was Wakefield Trinity 50, Sheffield Eagles 6. Chris, what's your first reaction after that 50 points to six victory over Sheffield Eagles? Yeah, I think there were a lot of a uh, lot of positives to, to take out to it. Um, you know, keeping them to, to one try, that first half, which I thought were a little bit soft, you know, just a one-on-one -on -one miss. Um, but it certainly served a, a, a purpose. We got some uh, some quality minutes into uh, into Craig Uby and Anthony England and, and a few others as well. So um, yeah, we, we we've come away with uh, with no injuries, which is always a bonus this time of year. Would you not agree, though, Chris? At times in that first half, it was a little bit flat. Yeah, the, the whole the whole atmosphere were flat, wasn't it? You know, I think there were just short of a thousand people here today, and we had, to, you know, we spoke about trying to create his own atmosphere out on the field with with things that we were um, trying to do. Um, so yeah, we I've just spoke to the boys there. The start is still still concerning. We uh, we didn't start particularly well. The the, the meant 60 metres in that first set of six, which is disappointed. Um, but once we fixed a few things up at half time, I thought we were very very dominant that second half and. It's got some nice tries as well. Five pre-season friendlies now out of the way, Chris. Generally speaking, how happy how things have gone? Yeah, it's probably two, two friendlies too many for us. Um, but yeah, there's there's been some real, uh, real signs of progression, and there's certain players out there that have given me some food for thought. That's for sure for the uh, for the whole game. I thought Chris Anakin were outstanding today, give us some real, real energy when he came onto the field and. Anthony England and Craig Uby um, were very solid up front as well and, and Sam Williams 
was, uh, you know, by far and away the best best player on the field today. You brought Sam off ten minutes from time. Was there a problem? No, no, not at all. He, um, he well, he, he came off with I think 15, 20 minutes to go. Um, it was always the plan to, to get Sammy off. Uh, a bit disappointed in myself that we didn't get him off before the before the scrum. Um, but he, he just got winded. He got winded, and as a precaution, we we, we brought him off and. Give an opportunity to Woody out there to, to play in the halves, and then he, he went back to uh, he went back to uh, number nine as well. That towards the back end of the game. And David Fafita and Max Jowett returning, Chris. That's uh, another bonus for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like I said, they've given me uh, some food for thought. We'll we'll probably look at getting Dave out and Joel Reg next week, um, and Max Jowett and a couple of other guys that uh, that need some game time. So um, yeah, pleased with, with with both their efforts. Looked a little bit rusty at times, but uh, that's to be. Uh, to be expected when they've had so uh, so long um, out with, with their injuries. Two weeks to go before start of Super League 22 on Hull FC. Are you ready? I think we're ready. Um, we, we, we've some fine tuning to do. Um, but we're all really looking forward to, to to that first game. It's really important the start to get off you know to get off to a really good start, and we've got a perfect opportunity to to do that against. Um, you know, the Challenge Cup winners of, of last year. So, uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to it. We're all, we're all ready to go. Um, and we've got two weeks now, preparation, good preparation. Um, we're over in Wales next week. And then uh, we've got another, another week where we'll, uh, we'll hit the guys hard. And Yeah, we're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. A lot of excitement around the place. And um, it should be uh, an exciting game.